Hello and welcome to the Pork and Knuckle Show, where we take a bite out of the movie, literally. And today, we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to sail the high seas. We're going to conquer the... Aliens? For whatever reason. But in the end, we're going to decide which of these two franchises is actually better. Is it Pirates of the Caribbean or is it Indiana Jones? It is Indiana Jones. Thank you so much for watching this video. All right, video. thank you for watching. Take care. <laughs> right, so the five things we're going to look yeah. at. Characters, the storyline, the special effects... And what was the fourth one? The sequel. Yes! The most important part. But also for this, the actual feeling of adventure. Because these are the adventure these franchises. These are adventure movies. Right, characters. Let's get into it. Pirates of the Caribbean and Indiana Jones. Characters, speak to me. <sighs> this, is, this is really hard, actually. Because as much as I love um, Johnny Depp's performance yeah, yeah, and portrayal great. as Jack Sparrow it's amazing but Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones is amazing he is so much fun and one thing that I love the most about the whole Indiana Jones franchise is actually the interaction between Harrison Ford and Sean Connery yes, in the third movie this cool is so organic this feels so great mm. and so natural but the thing is if we're going through the entire indiana jones movies we have indiana jones and his father as good characters then we have the woman in the second film which is annoying then we have the kid which is annoying and never please even dare to ask me about the abomination that is the fourth one to which i will never say anything more than watch the south park episode so we have one good character mm. in indiana jones which is a really good character but then when you go Pirates to Pirates of the Caribbean, of the Caribbean. you have Super Johnny Pirates. Depp as an amazing actor. You have Jeffrey Rush. You have Orlando Bloom and Kieran Knightley, who wow. also deliver great performances. Even and Cruz great, put a good performance in. Great nuanced characters. And even in the later movies of the franchise, you have Chow Yun Fat with a great performance. Mm. You have Javier Badem with a very good performance in the fifth one. You have yeah, um, okay. Keith Richards. You have uh, Paul McCartney. Even characters and actors who are only in the movie for very short amounts of time but they still they have an impact to they get massively have this an impact. impact and this character feeling so character this is without a doubt I think Pirates of the I Caribbean. think we both agree I think the fact that not just the main character or characters but the side characters are so strong in the mm -hmm. Pirates of the Caribbean Mr. Gibbs is a great character yeah. the pair are superb and there isn't a good sidekick in Indiana Jones. This, yeah, definitely, hands down, I think Pirates of the Caribbean wins this. Yeah, superb. it wins. Right, the plot, the storylines. Because they're all based on the Pirates or Indiana Jones with the same premise, but they have different adventures in each movie. So this is actually quite this comparable. This is quite difficult for me. Because for me, Indiana Jones... It's kind of like the James Bond of the adventure movie genre. Okay. And Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones is such a great lead. There can only be and one Indiana Jones and that is Harrison Ford. And like, yeah. not Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Whatever reason people thought that. Um, and he nails these movies. And when you think the first Indiana Jones, the story of Indiana Jones against the Nazis. This was so brilliant. This was so it was action packed. It was really this good. Was the second one was rubbish. The storyline in the second one was terrible. I even, I terrible. even liked the story in the second really? one. I did. Even though the the side characters ruined it, I loved the uh, the story in the third. I the fourth was a horrendous disgrace. Never talk is, about this I again. I think this is why my point will go to. Pirates of the Caribbean, because consistently the story has been full of adventure, something new, something to keep you on board. The quality has decreased, but the quality is still so yeah. high that I s would still watch the fifth one. I would not watch the fourth one again, but I'd watch no. the fifth one again. And I think my point will go to Pirates. 
It's hard because I said uh, when we talked about all the the Pirates of the Caribbean mm. films, I said they're too long for me. I don't really the enjoy. Is super, I don't enjoy Jones these Jones extra, extra long, so long films. Well. I know that this is a concept that's around since the '50s, since we had Ben Hur and Spartacus. Long movies are a type of of Hollywood, yeah, but with the Pirates of the Caribbean see. films, I always had the the sort of feeling these movies are just so long, so they can make more so money at the box. Office to IJ? so that they can sell the tickets for an inflated price. But still, I think the stories are better. They're much better. They are pirates' wins, and pirates especially wins. when you when you compare individual scenes. Only when I tell you it's Jack Sparrow on this wheel. It's Jack Sparrow plus 20 other Jack Sparrows. It's Jack Sparrow robbing this bank. Even these short, basically yeah, short movie kind short of movie within a movie. scenes yeah, yeah. in these movies have such great stories and Johnny Depp is an amazing performer for these. So, well-deserved point. Special actually. effects relative to the time. Yes, relative of course. Time. I mean, Special effects, I, I'm gonna go straight with Indiana Jones, there's no discussion. The blowing up of cars, tanks, planes, that was superb. It was action-packed, thrilling. Even the second one and the fourth one, the nonsense that the fourth one was, the effects were quite cool for the time. No. Pirates, superb. You expect it. You expect Davy Jones. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, affected character, wow. But I think my point here will go to Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones set the scene. The first one, brilliant effects. It's it's hard to say because, of course, some of the special effects of, of Indiana Jones are dated beyond recognition. Yeah, yeah. So you sometimes have the green screen effects where you can still see the white outlines of the characters. <laughs> of course, this has been corrected with some of the later Blu-ray releases. This, is this, is, this has been corrected here. I'm very much looking forward to these films coming out in 4K, actually, uh, seeing how they look. I loved the special effects in um, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, especially the first three, and I loved the visual style of the fifth. The fourth, for me, was kind of a mixed bag when it comes to this. Both fourths, actually, because when you said you think that the effects for, for Indiana Jones 4 were good for the time, no! Actually, I thought that for, for whatever we have seen from digital special effects at that time, from movies such as Transformers or whatever, they were better. And for the budget, for the context and for the talent they had behind this film, they should have been able to accomplish much more. The special so effects, Pirates this, of the Caribbean this ants thing was yeah. terrible. So, I quite liked it. It's hard for it's it's very hard for me to decide against Indiana Jones in this context because I love so many scenes from these films. I love the long fighting scene on the bridge. I love the rolling boulder. I freaking love the melting. Which one has the better special effects? Indiana Jones. Cool. <laughs> sequels, sequels, sequels. Right. This is actually important because this is hard. The last sequels of both of these franchises are terrible compared to their predecessors. But sequels, I think Indiana Jones improved. We gotta give credit to that. One was superb, second was a disgrace, third was very, very good, fourth was an abomination. But I think as Pirates of the Caribbean went on, fifth was not good. Entertainment value, you can watch it, superb. Fifth was not as good, it was dragged on. Fourth was again, it's starting to drag on. One, two, and three were on a different level. So I think for this again, I think it'll be Indiana Jones because they improved after the second one. They improved. Whereas Pirates just went downhill. Well, the thing was, two and three were filmed back to back. They basically have the same quality, and I always like to compare two and three to a quest in an RPG. Yeah, okay. Like, it's a quest in Skyrim, but it's not like. A linear quest. It's like you have to bring this to that guy, but then before you get the item that you have to be able to get to this guy, you have to bring this thing to that guy, then have to go there to do this, and it just And then you have the on. curse of the Blackburn. You always have the curse. So and then yeah, 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 this the goes on for two and a half hours. For sure. They are entertaining movies. Uh, they are good to watch 
on a rainy Sunday evening. Mm -hmm. But for me, they're too long. And even though Indiana Jones 4 is such an abomination, and I would not be as harsh as you are with the second, I would never watch it again if I didn't have to because I just hate the characters, but it's not that bad of a movie. But just Indiana Jones 1 and 3. 3 was and brilliant. Big parts of the second one are so good. I have to go with Indiana Jones. On I this will one. go with Indiana Jones as well. Yeah. And lastly, th this is the one the feeling of adventure, which gives you the feeling of adventure. I think Pirates, for me, every movie is a different adventure. And even though I didn't like the fifth one, it was such an, a refreshing adventure. You just know that when the sixth one comes out, what's the adventure going to be? Where's it going to be, Will Turner? Is Barbosa in there? We know Captain Jack Sparrow will not be Johnny Depp. But <laughs> apart from that, let's see who else will be in there. What is the movie going to be about? And I'm waiting for it. Whereas Indiana Jones, well, we knew archaeologists finding an ark, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. It was okay. But this had a great, great adventure feeling. Because again, it was not linear. This was doing one thing and another and another and you're just constantly on your edge. This, you know, he was chasing one thing and that's it. But definitely adventure for this is superb. Even though he travelled all over the world in no time at all. This was, yeah, for me, Pirates. I think Pirates, that's 3 2, two Pirates for me. Which one for you? The adventure in Pirates is good. It's, it's long but good. It's good. Indiana Jones has a few hiccups, especially with its characters, but I like how relatable Indiana Jones is as a character. He is not such a, a, a superhuman. He's not that much of a mythical creature, actually, as Jack Sparrow is. I mean, no, but Jack Pirates, Sparrow Pirates, this is based on real life. Pirates Bob are Osa real. And Blackbeard, uh, they're based on real life. Pirates are real, but. Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow is such an exaggerated character. Of course. You love to watch him. You love to watch what he does when he basically takes it to movies version of Monkey Island. But I find Harrison Ford to be much more relatable. I well, want a, a, to a teacher see... who suddenly a secret spy kind of a guy. Yeah, but he has just like no, but these he has this, this, this very he relatable. He has indeed. these this this under. Uh, underlying charm in him mm. so so that you can see okay he can do all these things he knows all these things but apart from that he's just a regular human being just like everyone else and this is why so I feel oh, I feel his adventure even though some of the sub, uh, side characters annoy the hell out of me this has to go to IG so it's a draw it's a draw you Three I two. prefer Indiana Jones. 3-2 for me yes. and Pirates. And I think this would probably be the opinion of most people that don't watch our it show. Is it, it is a it, draw. It, tell us. Tell us good franchises, but for me this one is better. Tell us what do you think. think. Which of these franchises is actually better? Write us in the comment section below. Please, if you want to see us do more of this stuff whatever we're doing right now then please don't forget to hit that bell to make sure you're notified whenever we release more of this crap so please join us back next week same time same station when we make another one of the pork and knuckle show take care